Hello math learners! Without the use of calculator, do you know the square root of this number? How about this number? Well, that is 6 digit number, right? But how about this number? Now, if you don't, then finish this video because I will teach you a simple trick on how to get the square root of a 6 digit number without the use of calculator. But before anything else, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Okay math learners, welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. Today, we're going to discuss a mathematical trick on how to get the square root of a six digit number without the use of calculator. Well, the first trick of this technique is that if you have a six digit number and you want to get the square root of that number, the square root will always be a three digit number. Now that's the first trick. The second trick is how do we get the specific square root or the principal root of that six digit number? Well, let us go to our whiteboard discussion. Okay, math learners. We have here our first problem. What is the square root of 123,201? So, the technique here is very simple, my dear math learners. What you will do is you just group the whole six digit by two digits. Okay, so you have 12, 32, and 01. Okay, now, what you need to consider is the first group, that is 12. Now, first is, you need to consider the nearest perfect square that is less than the given that is 12 right so what is the nearest number or the nearest perfect square that is less than 12 of course that is 9 so having this you will get the square root of 9 and that is 3 now you already have your first digit is it right next thing you should do is you subtract 12 to 9 so the answer is 3 and then you bring down the next two digits you will have 332. Now, in this case, what you will do is you get the double or the product of 3 times 2. You will always multiply it by 2, okay? So, 3 times 2, that is 6, okay? So, what you will do is you add a space and then this 2-digit number will be multiplied to that space being added, okay? So, the technique here is very simple, my dear math learners. If you put 3 here, that will also be 3 here. If you put 4 here, that will also be 4 here, okay? So, next question is, how do we put the number here? What you will do is you consider this number, 332. Now, since this is 6, if you try to divide 332 by 6, okay? So, what is the first digit that you will get? Basically, that is 5, right? So, you will have 5 here or 5 here. Okay. So, if that is the case, 65 times 5, this should be applicable to be a subtrahend to this number. So, let's say 5 times 5, that is 25. Okay. So, 6 or 5 times 6, that is 30 plus 2, that is 32. Okay. So, you have 325. Okay. So, this is applicable to be subtracted with each other. Now, question is, do you need to get the difference of this one? No. As long as you have established this one, that will be your second digit. Easy, right? Now, let us go to the last digit. Okay. So, for the last digit, since this is your second or the last group of two digits, you will just look at the last digit and that is one. Now, ask yourself, what is the perfect square that ends with 1 from 1 to 100. Okay, and that is 1 and 81. Okay, now, these are the two perfect squares from 1 to 100 that ends with 1. Question is, what is the square root of 1? That is 1. What is the square root of 81? That is 9. So, therefore, your answer could be 351 or 359. Now, the next question is, how do we know which of the two is the final answer? Okay, so what you will do is you will know the concept of the root digit. Okay, so what is this root digit? This is the sum of all the digits of a given number. So what you will do is you just add all the numbers in your original problem. So 1 plus 2, that is 3. 3 plus 3, that is 6. 6 plus 2, that is 8. 8 
plus 0, 8, 8 plus 1, that is 9. So therefore, your root digit is 9. Now, of course, if you consider the root digit of your perfect square, it should coincide with your original problem. Okay, so how do we do this? Let's start first with 351. So we have 351 times 351 because this is a square root, right? So you multiply by this one, It ho we hope that this will be the final answer. Okay, and now we will add 3 plus 5, that is 8. 8 plus 1, that is 9. So same goes, this is also 9. So 9 times 9, that is 81. 8 plus 1, that is 9. And they are the same. So basically, we already have our final answer. That is 351. Easy, right? Now, for checking purposes, let's consider 359. So what if we consider 359 first? Does this coincide with our root digit? Okay, let's see. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 9, that is 17. Okay, so this is also 17. 1 plus 7, that is 8. So this will be 8. This will become 64. So 6 plus 4, that is 10. The root digit of this one is 1 and it is not coinciding with our original root digit. Therefore, this is wrong and thus we have a correct answer that is 351. Easy, right? Now, let us consider the second problem. Okay, my dear math learners, we have here our second six-digit number what is the square root of 352,836 so the first thing you should do is you group them by two digits okay so we have 35 28 and 36 we start with 35 what is the nearest perfect square that is less than 35 and that is 25 of course the square root of 25 is 5 so you have now your first digit okay so by subtracting this you will have 10 and then you bring down the next two pairs or the next two digits so giving you 1028 now next thing you should do is you multiply your first given answer by 2 so 5 times 2 that is 10 you add one digit you multiply it to that digit okay so since this is 10 this is 1 of course if you divide them the answer is 10 but since we will be just putting one digit so basically, let's start with 9. Okay, so 9 times 9, that is 81. And 9 times 1, that is 9. So 981. So we have here 981. This is applicable to our 1028. Therefore, our value here is 9. Now, for our last digit, we have the last digit here as 6. So what are the perfect squares from 1 to 100 that ends with 6? That is 16 and 36. All right. So what is the square root of 16? That is 4. What is the square root of 36? That is 6. So our answer could be 594 or 596. Question is, which is which? So we will get the root digit. So 3 plus 5, that is 8. 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 8, 18. 18 plus 3, 21. 21 plus 6, that is 27. 27 plus 2, sorry, 27 so that is 2 plus 7 that is 9 therefore our root digit is still 9 okay so let's start first with 594 okay so we have here 5 plus 9 that is 14 14 plus 4 that is 18 so 18 times 18 1 plus 8 that is 9 9 this will become 81 and the final answer is 9 the root digit is 9 okay so it could be 594. How about 596? Okay, let's for checking purposes. Okay, for checking purposes, let's consider 596. 5 plus 9, that is 14. 14 plus 6, that is 20. Of course, 20 times 20, this is become 2 and 2. This will become 4. So 4 is our root digit for this one. So this is wrong. Therefore, our final answer is 500. 94. Easy, right? So I hope, my dear math learners, you already have the concrete idea on how to get the technique on this kind of problem. Now, let us go to our final example. Okay, my dear math learners, for our final example, we have the square root of 693,889. So what is the square root of this one? Of course, we will divide this or group this into two sets or two digit sets. And then we have 69. Question is, what is the nearest number that is close 
to 69. That is a perfect square. And that is 64. The square root of 64 is 8, of course. Okay? Okay. If you subtract 69 to 64, you will have 5 and then you bring down 38. Now, the next thing you should do is you multiply this by 2. So, 8 times 2 is 16. Alright. Then you add one digit. You add one digit and then you multiply. Next thing is what could be a number that could divide 1 and then 5 here. So, let's consider 4. Okay. So, what if we will use 4? 4 times 4, that is 16. Carry 1, 24, 25. So, 4. 5, 6. Okay. Wrong. That's wrong. So, let's consider 3. Okay. If we use 3 here, we have 9. We have 18. 3, 4. Okay. 489. So, that could be it. Okay. So, 489 is applicable. So, since we use 3 here as our digit, that will be our second digit. Okay. Now, let us consider for our final answer. That is 9 here. So, what are the perfect squares from 1 to 100 that ends with 9? And that is 9 and 49. So, that is 9 and 49. So, what is the square root of 9? That could be 3. What is the square root of 49? That could be 7. So, our answer could be 833 or 837. Okay. So, what's the next step? So, the next step, my dear math learners, is to get the root digit. So, the root digit is the sum of all the digits. So, 6 plus 9, that is 15. 15 plus 3, 18. 18 plus 8, 26. 26 plus 8, that will give us... 34, 34 plus 9, that is 43. Okay, so 43, 4 plus 3, that is 7. The root digit is 7. Now, let's try 833, multiply by itself. So 8 plus 3, that is 11 plus 3, 14. So 14 and 14, 1 plus 4, that is 5 and 5. 5 times 5, that is 25. And if you add them, this is 7 and they are the same. So therefore, it satisfy our 833. Now, for checking purposes, let's consider 837. So, 837, if we add 8 plus 3, 11 plus 7, that is 18. 18, this will become 9. This will become 81. And still, 9. And this is not the same as our 7 here. Therefore, this is not the correct answer. And this is our final answer. That is 833. Okay, my dear math learners, I hope you have a wonderful time on knowing the technique of how to get the square root of a six-digit number without the use of calculator. If you do have some techniques, tricks that you want to share in this channel, feel free to put in the comment section below. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you so much. God bless and keep safe always. Congratulations, math learners for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video have helped you, click that like button. And if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.